Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so uh, in this video, I'm pretty much going to explain to you guys something that's pretty cool from Google Fi as they just recently updated all their plans. So we got new plans with Google Fi. We got more data with Google Fi. We also got more leeway when it comes to data only. Now, first of all, disclaimer, uh, this uh, feature that Google Fi offers is only available on the now known as unlimited premium plan and their flex plan, okay? So the unlimited standard, you're not able to do this. And on the unlimited essentials, you're not able to do this. And this is focusing on data only SIM cards. So aside from international usage with Google Fi's um, unlimited premium plan, one of the other things that you could do on it is uh, have data only SIM cards for your IOTs and install them, right? You can put them on laptops that are LTE or 5G compatible. You can put them in tablets that are LTE 5G compatible. And yes, you can install them on an old smartphone you have as like a backup phone to maybe like use like for navigation or, you know, to send quick emails, things like that. When your main device is tied up, you could have a backup device. And so, um, you know, these are pretty cool. I've been using them every time that I've been on Google Fi. I always grab me like two or three data only SIM cards. It just makes it easier if I'm going to cycle between devices and whatnot. So um and yeah it's it's very easy to set up i can't show you the entire process of the setup um as far as like you know i'm picture in picture on this video but i will have a recorded video uh playing up here in just a second as to how i was able to uh get it installed so you guys will be able to see that but nonetheless i will show you just the first step so when you sign into your google fi account and you, you're greeted with this page all you got to do is look right here where it says manage plan and that's what you're going to click on, okay? Uh, so when you click on that, you know, for the sake of not being able to show you guys private information, uh, the next page is going to show your plan. Now, if you're on, if you're a single user, you're only going to see yourself. If you're on a group plan, you're going to see yourself and you're going to see the other members of your family plan that's active. But when you scroll down that list at the bottom, not all the way at the bottom, but just below the list of active lines you have, you're going to have two option buttons. One is buy new device, which is where you would like order a new phone and add a new line. And then right next to it, there's one that says connect your tablet. Now, the reason why that that is there is because now they do eSIM instead of just physical SIM only. Like uh, when I ordered a daily only SIM card for my phone line, I got this Google Fi SIM kit, and it's not the regular SIM kit that you would use to activate a new line of service or port your number over. This is a data only SIM card. It has um, an activation code, and you know, just kind of like see if I can get the camera to show you that it says data only on this envelope right there at the bottom data only SIM card. And these are reprogram reprogrammable. So if you, if you want to stop using a data only SIM, you can deactivate the SIM. You don't have to throw it away because if you ever need it down the road, just save the, the card that the SIM card was in because it has a unique code. And all you got to do is just go back into your Google Fi account and reactivate it by typing in that activation code and then it turns it back on. Now, if you don't want to order a data only SIM card or you don't, yeah, data only SIM card, like a physical SIM and you don't have time, you can always do eSIM this way as it was showing you in the step by steps that was, you know, appearing like well, right there. Um, and that's how you would literally set it up. Same way like you would set up an eSIM. Um, it's just when you click that connect your tablet button, a QR code pops up. The QR code's only good for 20 minutes. Um, and then after that, if you know you were having issues trying to install the eSIM and 20 minutes has passed, you would have to have it regenerate you a new QR code. So anyone that you know, uh, yeah, would try to like activate it from someone's visuals, uh, unless it was done in like you know, 20 minutes hasn't passed since that code was generated, then yeah, it'd be good. But if it's if it's not, it won't be good. Plus two, I govern my account so I can see if anyone was to activate uh, ESA. But the QR code's not good. Trust me, it's not good anymore. It's been some time. Anyways, um, yeah, so you know, quick video for you guys, showing you guys how to install eSIM, data only eSIM to be exact, on your devices. So if you want to know what devices are currently active, my Pixel 5a is active on data only eSIM. My iPhone 12 is active with data only physical SIM. And then you guys should know my main daily driver device with my active phone number is my Pixel 9a. So all three devices are connected to Google Fi and running data. And yeah, um, I will give you guys a one week review of this method since my plan is switching over to the new unlimited premium tomorrow. Starts uh, day one for me for my new plan. 
And um, I'll be able to tell you if it's pulling from the 50 gigs of hotspot or if it's pulling from the 100 gigabytes of mobile phone data usage. I'll be able to tell you guys all that in a week from now after I test this all out. But I think it's pretty cool. Good on Google Fi for doing this. Thanks for checking out this video. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Aloha.